Praised be Jesus and Mary. In today's gospel, Jesus makes it clear that uh, there is no limit to giving and receiving forgiveness. He, uh, he drove the lesson home with uh, a parable about two very different kinds of debts. Now the first man owed an enormous sum of money, um, 10,000 talents in today's, by today's standards. I forget the exact amount, but it was millions. <laughs> it was, uh, in our Lord's time, the amount was greater than the total revenue of a whole province, more than a king's ransom. And the man who was forgiven such an incredible debt could not, however, bring himself to forgive his neighbor a very small debt, which was peanuts. A uh, hundred pence is like 60 bucks. Uh, the contrast, you know, could not have been greater. And with this in mind, you know, we have to realize that uh, there's no offense whatsoever that uh, our neighbor could inflict upon us that would compare with our own personal debt that we owe to God. You know, when we go to confession, our sins are forgiven. They're washed clean in the precious blood of our Lord. But the temporal punishment, the debt, still remains. That's why we have to do penance and sacrifice, fast, give alms, perform good works to pay off that debt. Because, and even no matter how much penance we did, uh, the, the debt's so enormous that we could never repay it on our own. Only with the grace of God can, can we do anything good, St. Paul says. And uh, that's why our Father in heaven you know, sent his only begotten Son who, who freely you know, gave up his <clears throat> life to ransom us from the slavery to Satan and to sin and, and to death. Uh, St. Paul says, we have been bought at a price. And that price was the death of our Lord on the cross. So Jesus um, sets us free from living in sin and spiritual darkness. Uh, St. Peter tells us that uh, we were ransomed from the, the futile way of life that we inherited from our fathers and with the precious blood of Christ. And, uh, you know, our Lord gave himself to redeem us from all iniquity. And, you know, iniquity describes the, the futile ways of uh, erroneous thinking, uh, sinful behavior, and uh, disregarding or treating uh, God's commandments lightly. Um, so we've been given forgiven a, uh, an enormous debt, which we could never possibly repay. <clears throat> and we owe God a debt of uh, gratitude for the, the mercy and grace that, uh, that he has shown to us. He's really given it. We've done nothing to earn it. So uh, this parable teaches us that um, if God 
has shown us mercy in, in granting us pardon for our sins, then uh, we in turn must show mercy and forgiveness towards uh, every person who has ever offended us. The willingness uh, to forgive those who offend us is a sacred duty. If we expect God to pardon us and to show his mercy, show his mercy when, when we disobey his commandments, then we must be willing to let go of any resentment, uh, grievance, grudge, or uh, ill will, you know, that we feel uh, towards our neighbor. Um, Jesus teaches us to pray daily in the Our Father for the grace and the strength to forgive <clears throat> others in the, the same measure in which God has forgiven us. You know, and if we don't show mercy and, and forgiveness to our neighbors, how can um, we ever expect God to forgive us? The Apostle James says that judgment is without mercy to those who have shown no mercy. If we want mercy shown to us, we must be ready and, and willing to, to forgive others from the heart as God has forgiven us.